Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. This is an exciting video because we're looking at a new release watch from the micro brand Baltic. And I have never seen any of their watches in person, although I have admired what they have been putting out from afar. And recently I saw that they released this and I happened to jump on it. Uh, as quick as I could because I, I liked what I was seeing online and I was one of the few who was able to get one of these watches because they are limited editions. I believe 200 pieces for each dial color and I believe there's three different dial variations and so there's only 200 of the dial variation that I got so I'm happy to get it. I'm not sure if it'll stay in my collection at this point but Let's stop talking and let's see what we have from Baltic. You already know what it is, but uh, I like this pack packaging here, how it falls open like that. And they have the cushion uh, like glued to the inside of the cardboard. I think that is really nice. Uh, good touch from Baltic with that outer cardboard box for shipping. And then here is the box that the watch is in another cardboard box so we'll set that aside right there and then they have this cork box in here uh, you get a booklet here with the name of the watch the mr01 is what we're looking at today in this unboxing video now again this is not a review um, this is just an unboxing so stay tuned for a full review but Here's the box, nice cork uh, material here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And let's open it up and check out the piece. There it is. I went with the silver dial variant with the green strap. I think it looks pretty good right there on the blue pillow very very cool so let's take it off the pillow and in this video it's not a full review but we'll get some measurements we'll get some dimensions of the watch itself and just take a general quick look at it and share my initial thoughts and first impressions of this new release from the micro brand baltic pretty cool pretty cool now uh, i don't know all the details about this watch um, but please, again, stay tuned for a full review in the future. But you can see that it is a micro rotor movement, which looks pretty nice for what it is. It is a, a Chinese micro rotor movement, um, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, at least that's my initial first impressions. I think micro rotor movements are pretty cool. Uh, uh, this is the first one I've ever had, so I think it looks pretty great, and I think it's a great concept. Let's wind this thing up and get it going. All right, there it is. We see the sub-second dial going there in the 7 and 8 o'clock position. And uh, I fell in love with this watch when I saw it in pictures, and I think it's pretty good looking in person too, for sure. A nice looking dress piece. It seems to be nicely finished. Got drilled lugs there. Excuse me. Screwed down case back with, looks like six screws. And uh, good size crown there. And I'm liking this dial. I do like the numerals. Um, it is a Hesalite crystal. And I'm not sure what they're using on the back uh, for the crystal. I assume it's probably just a mineral crystal, but I'll fire up the diamond selector here just to get a check on that. We'll let that warm up and we'll get some measurements of this watch. It is a smaller piece. If I remember right, the case diameter is 36. Yep, right about 36 millimeters or so. Case thickness is quite thin at 10 millimeters. And of course the micro rotor helps with 
the thinness of this watch. Lug tip to lug tip distance is 43.7 as I'm measuring it here. And then we get a lug opening of 20 millimeters. So those are the measurements. And let's check that crystal on the back of this case and see what we're dealing with there. So seems like a mineral crystal. It's not moving all the way up. So we got a mineral crystal on the back, a Hesalite crystal uh, that is boxed and domed on the front of this watch. What do you guys think of this piece? I think it's a pretty good looking watch. Uh, right out of the box, I'm pretty impressed with the finishing. You get some writing in between the lugs there on both sides. Uh, the watch seems to be finished very nicely right out of the box. So let me strap it on my six and a half inch wrist. We'll get a wrist shot. There's no loom shot for this video. I'm wearing uh, this Casio here. Been enjoying this little piece of late. Um, but let's strap on this little piece, the Baltic MR01, and see how it looks. All right, there it is on my six and a half inch wrist, 36 millimeter diameter case. I think it fits me pretty good. Um, it's hard to tell right now if it wears bigger than the 36 millimeters. I'll have to give it some time on that, but uh, I think it fits pretty nicely on my wrist. So they had a couple different strap color options. The green one was the main one that they were selling the silver dial version with, and that's what I decided to go with, although you can, you could have changed it when you purchased it, but I think the green goes really nicely with the silver dial. Um, this is an Italian calf leather, and it's, it's quite thin, and right out of the box, uh, it, uh, doesn't need any breaking in. It's it's very pliable and flexible and seems to fit right around your wrist right out of the box. So that's nice as well. What are your guys' first impressions of this new Baltic watch? I want to hear them down in the comments below. I'd love to interact with you there. And I'm looking forward to spending some more time with this piece. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. I have other dress watches uh, that I do wear quite often, so I'm not sure if there is room for another one, but my initial impressions of this watch is that it looks pretty sweet. Uh, there's a lot that I like about it. Um, and again, stay tuned for the full review in uh, a future video where I'll sh share all the details about this piece and all of my thoughts in that video. But thanks for tuning in to the unboxing of this watch. If you liked it, please give this video a like. It really helps out the channel. Uh, but that's it for today. Thank you for stopping by to the Town Watch. We'll see you next time.